16 amazing sights you'll find in Taiwan. Welcome to Taltanic. I'm Wacky Universe, and I'll be guest hosting your video today. Taiwan often gets mistaken for being just an island part of China. Taiwan is its own independent entity that has loads of intriguing sights to see, all located on the 36,000 square kilometer island. 16. Dome of Light. Located at the Formosa Boulevard station, the Dome of Light is a visual marvel that brings in visitors from everywhere to the station, even if it's not the station they need to be at. The colorful design was created by Narcissus Quagalita. The 4,500 glass panels cover about 2,180 square meters and is about 30 meters in diameter. Not only is it pretty to look at, but the Dome of Light is also a place that is a venue for weddings. It is the largest public art installation made from individual glass pieces and took about four years to complete. And if you pay attention, a story is being told along the glass panels that include the themes of the elements water, earth, light, and fire. 15. Sun Moon Lake This popular tourist attraction is also considered the largest body of water in the country of Taiwan. Found within Nantu County is Sun Moon Lake, which surrounds an island known as Lalu. The lake sits at 748 meters or 2,454 feet above sea level. And while it's beautiful, it might disappoint you to know that people are not permitted to swim in the lake. Aside from the yearly 3-kilometer swimming race called the Swimming Carnival, with participants that reach the number of tens of thousands. And if you're not much of a racing person, wouldn't you enter one just to get to swim in a beautiful body of water you won't get to swim in otherwise? 14. Eternal Spring Shrine If you're looking for a little bit more of a deep meaning on your trip to Taiwan, then you should check out the Eternal Spring Shrine, located in the Taroko National Park, which, incidentally, would put you in the same area as the famous Taroko Gorge. The construction of the shrine was planned since 1958, with the newest shrine having been constructed in 1989. The shrine was rebuilt two times because of landslides, though still serves as a popular site for visitors. 13. Tamsui Lover's Bridge Nope, this photo doesn't have some weird bent filter on. That bending shape is just the way the Tamsui's Lover's Bridge was made. Located in New Taipei and Tamsui's Fisherman Wharf, the unique-looking bridge was opened in 2003. And to address the shape thing, it was actually designed to look like the mast and rigging of a ship at sea. The wharf itself is considered a popular scenic spot for visitors. At night, luminous lamps make the bridge appear a glowing blue. 12. Bay 2 Incinerator So that name doesn't sound like the most romantic or pleasant spot to visit, but the Bay 2 Incinerator is actually pretty popular as far as sights to see goes. And even if its name is a bit off-putting, you do have to admit that a rainbow tower isn't that common to see around the world. Located in the Bay 2 district in Taipei, the plant the tower is part of was originally the Xilin Refuse Incineration Plant, but was renamed in 1995 and incorporated as part of the Department of Environmental Protection. If that still doesn't float your boat, you can visit the restaurant that's apparently located at the top. 11. Golden Waterfall Unlike other famous waterfalls around the world, Golden Waterfall is not remarkable for its size, which is actually quite small. It's called Golden Waterfall because the water apparently emits a gold glow when it flows down the iron and copper deposits. The site is one of the drawing points as to why so many people come to visit the natural landmark in Taiwan located specifically at the Gold Ecological Park. Even the sea that the water flows into looks a bit gold, too. Don't be too allured by the sight, however, and go on thinking this place is safe and serene. There's also said to be high amounts of arsenic in the water. Just FYI. 10. Tuned Mass Damper We know that doesn't exactly sound like a fun sightseeing activity for the whole family, and yet it's become enough of a talking point for people to want to check it out for themselves. This rich yellow orb known as the Tuned Mass Damper is located inside of one of the tallest buildings not only in Taiwan, but in the world, the Taipei 101. You hear about what its function is and it sounds like something out of a sci-fi. This huge ball is actually a pendulum, and its location inside the Taipei 101 is not just for show. It keeps the skyscraper from swaying. The Tune Mass Damper is 18 feet in diameter and is suspended by eight cables, all with the means to control the vibrations of a building that measures at 1,667 feet tall. 9. Xilin Night Market 
Checking out a night market is nothing new when visiting a city, but the Xilin Night Market is probably something you want to go see as it's noted to be the largest and widely attended night market in Taiwan. Overall, the Xilin Night Market takes up two culturally significant sections of the Xilin District. The market includes over 500 food stalls and carts, stores, karaoke establishments, arcades, movie theaters, and even small restaurants. Even if you have other night plans, the night market is known to stay open until about 1 to 2 o'clock in the morning. 8. Yangmingshan National Park In total, there are nine national parks in the rather small country of Taiwan, and the Yangmingshan is one of them and one of the more famous ones. Its popularity, of course, is due to the fact that it's so close to Taipei, the capital city. Even though it's close in distance, looking at Yangmingshan is a clear contrast to the metropolitan vibe of Taipei, with the national park's gardens, green hills, and golden fields. Lodgings are available within the park's 114.55 square meter expanse, as well as restaurants for you when you need a bite to eat after a little scenic adventuring. 7. Mao Kong Gondola It's not the gondola you first think of as in leisurely lounging on a boat as a man in a striped shirt sings operatically while you pass under a bridge. This kind of gondola has you hovering above a tree-covered mountain near the Taipei Zoo. The gondola line runs about 4.3 kilometers or 2.7 miles. For someone afraid of heights, that seems a bit long, and the ride does last about 25 minutes, which is great for anyone who enjoys taking in the view at great heights. Mao Kong is actually known for the beautiful tea plantations and tea shops. There's also such a thing as the Crystal Cabin, which consists of a glass floor that's 48 millimeters thick, as if you weren't afraid of heights enough. 6. High Heel Church that crystal blue pump you see before you is known as the High Heel Wedding Church, as emphasized by the big red letters that spell love on the outside. The church is located in the Budai Township and has a bit of an interesting reason for why it was made. It's not exactly as romantic or as stylish as you would think, though it's actually made to mean something. Commemorating the Blackfoot disease of the 1950s is the reason this tall blue shoe was built in the first place. It officially opened to the public in the summer of 2016. So, it's a fairly new monument, but no less interesting. 5. Hotong Cat Village Animal lovers can revel in the huge presence of felines at the Hautong Cat Village located in New Taipei. Here, the cat population is quite high, and instead of considering it part of a pest problem, the area seems to embrace it, as you can see with this cat comfortably lounging by this railing, which is situated along a line of little cat houses. But cats weren't always the dominating animals around these parts before. The village used to be called Kaotong, or Monkey Cave for the monkeys that once dwelt here centuries ago. Haotong was once a coal mining village where now hundreds of cats now call their home. Or at least, we presume they call it their home. We're not really sure what a cat would call it. It all started in 2008 when a local cat person and a few volunteers wanted to improve the well-being of cats in the area. 4. Agora Garden this tall and twisting building is called the Agora Garden. You're looking at a digital image of the building as right now, it's in the middle of being constructed, so it's sure to be part of the Taipei skyline soon. Recent photos show the skeleton of the building being constructed, its twirling nature already taking shape. Agora Garden was developed for the purpose of making the city a bit more green and clean. It's supposed to absorb about 130 tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The twist goes at about 90 degrees and will be completed with 22 floors of trees and gardens, which are being called vertical farms. 3. Rainbow Village One of the most saturated and vibrant instances of street art takes shape in what is known as the Rainbow Village, which was started all the way back in 1924. These colorful walls, roofs, and sidewalks were started by a former soldier who began this creative site when he was painting the houses in the settlement. Over time, the houses fell into disrepair, but the local university students wanted to preserve the soldier's work. Nowadays, the Rainbow Village is a beloved tourist attraction. 2. Tang Feng Fishball Museum Seafood lovers, doesn't that sound like a place you'd have a good time? The Tang Feng Museum is exactly what it says it is in the facility's name. The museum documents and displays the history of fish balls. As it turns out, it's a highly frequented facility, so people seem to really enjoy it. The Tang Feng Fishball Company dates its establishment back to the 1940s. And after finding success in the food market, the museum was soon developed as a way to give back to the community and was opened in 2004. There's two exhibition halls at the museum, as well as fishball equipment on display. 1. Taipei 101 
You remember that huge yellow pendulum we talked about earlier? Well, this is the building it helps keep stable. Taipei 101, as we mentioned, is over 1,600 feet tall and is a very clear landmark in the middle of Taipei's skyline. Those 101 floors make it one of the tallest buildings in the world, the eighth tallest to be exact. Construction of the 101 began in the year 1999, right before the turn of the century. Building it then went on for five years, with it opening in the year 2004 when it was the tallest building in the world until 2008. And it's not just made up of 101 floors just for the fun of it. The number symbolizes the new century, 101 years, and is also meant to represent the years to come. Thank you for watching this video. Stop by my channel on the way out, and I'll see you next time. Oh, my God.